Right lads, I have got something very, very exciting for you today for a video. Remember Formula Fantasy? The Formula Fantasy mod I covered a few months ago? Um, well, there, there is an update to it. There's a big update to it. Thank you to Scotty, the um, creator of this mod, for actually giving me an early access version of this update. Um, so I can do this, sh so I can show it off for you all here today. Um, I've been really looking forward to this since we first started talking about it. Um, so, and already we've got a different looking so um, start screen here. I've been looking forward to this. Um, the update will be releasing soon. I will let you know when it does release. Um, but let's head on in here if my game would like to actually progress onwards and I'll be fantastic. Thank you, game! Thank you for uh, playing ball with me here today. Well, anyway, let's let's get into this and see what has changed from... what was changed in this update from the last time I looked at this mod a few months ago. I really loved, I really loved the original version of this mod. Um, so let's go on. I'm gonna start in the showroom Take a look at some cars here. The Mercedes here, Monster Mercedes. Unchanged from the original by the looks of it, from what I'm seeing here anyway. I still really li I really like the Mercedes anyway. Because I think I love a fade from one color to another. And the green and the black, it just works. I'm pretty sure I said this a few months ago, but the green and the green and black just works. It's like the Mercedes look with the black and uh, turquoise icy blue. It works, it works with the green. I like it. As I said last time, I'm pretty sure Monster Mercedes, Monster title sponsor of Mercedes Benz in this uh, Formula Fantasy universe. Red Bull and this and then also by the looks of it unchanged. Um, was that outline around the numbers there before last time? I'm not entirely sure it was. If it wasn't and that's an addition, then that is a really, really nice touch. It's like what Ferrari did with the numbers IRL this year. They put an outline around, a white outline around Leclerc's number and a yellow one around uh, um, Sainz's number. I like it though. It makes it stand out a bit more. Um, and yeah, Red Bull, Nissan, of course. Remember there's a Nissan are now the power supplier of um, Red Bull and Toro Rosso in this, in this mod. Um, with of course Honda, less Nissan stepped in to power the cars and again it's a very red it's the typical Red Bull style of livery. Red Bull are know what they do with their kind of livery and it's good. Have I am I a big fan of Red Bull's livery IRL this year? Probably not. But this simple change, as I said last time, this simple change is nice. Onwards now to McLaren and this one is different. It was white before, I believe. Of course, we've got the Mc uh, McLaren Quadrant here. In, um, here it is now. Quadrant title sponsor of McLaren, it seems. And it has cha the livery has changed. It, we now have uh, black and floral green. Uh, I would almost call it... Uh, I would almost be, you know, inclined to call it stealth livery. Um, but, I mean, call it whatever you will. I, I like it, you know? Uh, McLaren going to the going black for their uh, base color here. Still got the floral green for the quadrant. I love, I love it. I love it. It looks nice. Uh, but onwards from McLaren now on to Aston Martin. That is a. I'm. I cannot ignore the fact that that's a 77 on that car. Okay, I'm gonna come back to the 77 later. Um, I believe by the looks of it, this livery is unchanged, apart from the 77 on it. Um, I didn't even notice if there was any different numbers on the other liveries. Uh, but I'm noticing the 77 on this one. So that's getting me a bit, that's getting me a bit intrigued here. Um, so, but yeah, Aston Martin is pretty much unchanged, but I mean, I really love this livery anyway. I still do. Um, the kind of shiny chrome looking green. Okay, we all came this by new on my on this channel. I love chrome on a livery. I do it all the time on my my team liveries. I do it all the time on my my team helmets, and it looks great here. You know, again, this is to be honest. At 
I said this last time that it was better than Aston Martin's IRL livery. I still stand by that statement. Even though the Aston Martin livery has improved a bit this year, IRL, this is still way better. Aston Martin should hire you. Onwards to um, Toyota. Alpine are gone. Toyota's here, remember? Alpine kind of pulled out and Toyota saw an opportunity to step in. I believe this is unchanged. Um, let me just check. I'm mistaken. It's not unchanged. It has changed. Um, we've got a bit because it was more red on the um, side pods before, on the engine cover side pods before, and now we've got a lot more white coming in. Still got that kind of um, feathery effect, I would almost call it. Bit of black at the back. I love this. I, it looks really, really, really cool. The feathery effect is what does it, what, is what gets it for me, and the, the feathery effect, the black on the front wing and the rear wing with the, um, the white accents there on the ends, so the end plates of the two wings. I think it looks really, really good. I love it. And I also checked the Red Bull, there was, there was not a white outline around the numbers before, so that is a really nice touch. It, it's all in the small details sometimes. It's all in the small details. But moving on now to Ferrari. This looks really nice. Serious question? Why the hell have Ferrari never put the prancing horse on the side of their car? Simple question. Why have they never done it? It would look amazing. I still love those wheel covers. I still love the Italian flag wheel covers. Uh, the prancing horse on the side, the white rear wing, got some white touches on the front wing as well. Um, got a bit of an outline around the number there, makes the number stand out a bit more. It looks nice. Um, still got Vodafone here, I believe, by the looks of it as the main title sponsor here, as it was before. Um, now we've got, yeah, the prancing horse there on the side with kind of the, almost like a shadow of it in the ba behind it, of the Italian flag, which, that, again, that's a really nice touch. Uh, again, so like, so like I said, sometimes it's in this, like, it's sometimes it's in the details. Um, and, okay, to be honest, I think we all came, I'm a, I, I am a Ferrari fan, so, I mean, of course I'm gonna love this livery. I'm a Ferrari fan, but it does look amazing. Um, the, um, slightly, I would say slightly darker shade of red than it is normally in this game. I might be mistaken. I don't know, maybe it's the fact that it's shiny that's making the red, the shade of red look different to how, it, how the red is normally on the Ferrari on this game. Uh, but this, this looks really nice. The Ferrari looks really, really nice. I like it. Onwards now, Alpha Tauri. This has changed. Infinity, of course, title sponsor of Alpha Tauri. Um, again, I'm not ignoring the fact that's 23. Hello, Alex Albon. How is it going? I'm going to assume Alex Albon. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. Um, but the Alpha Tauri logo has moved a bit further back. Infinity taking a bit more of a prime spot on the um, car. Bit of white touches there, bef there on the bottom there. Um, I do like it. I love the Alpha Tauri livery last time. I do still love it here. It looks really, really nice. The purple on the the purple and white wheel rims. It looks really nice. The purple outside on the the purple rims on it. And is that purple bolts? Is that that is purple bolts on that wheel rim? I'm not I'm not just seeing that right. That's not just my eyes. That I'm seeing purple on that bolt. That is a nice touch. I don't know if that was there last time or not. But anyway, um, yeah, simple as. I like it. Uh, the kind of infinity and the kind of like I don't know. Infinity, I would say almost infinity space chromey kind of way, and the Alphatari logo and the infinity logo. It is really nice, it's really nice. Of course, also powered by Nissan, you can see there. As, uh, but like I said, Nissan now is the power unit supplier of Red Bull and its sister team. Uh, because, of course, Ponda fucked off. Okay, tech, okay, technically IRL Honda are technically kind of still there. Uh, because, I mean, let's be real, uh, this year it's basically a Honda engine with a Red Bull logo slapped onto it. But moving on, Lotus, by the looks of it, this is unchanged. Of Alfa Romeo also gone in this save. They've left and made way for Lotus to come back. Um, and I believe this is unchanged. Yes, it is unchanged. Uh, but I mean, I, it, you can't go wrong. Is the Lotus, you know, like the livery Lotus had with um, their um, livery last time, when the last time they were actually in Formula One. I mean, I like it, you know? Gold, war black and gold works on a Formula One car. Black and gold works. Well, it looks black to me. And then, you know, we've got this shiny kind of 
shiny gold there on the halo, the sides on the on the on the shiny gold, and then the, yeah, there's shiny gold there on the sides, on the halo, but on the bit touches on the front wing, rear wing. I like it. I really like it. It looks amazing. Onwards to Haas. This livery has been updated. I know what the Haas livery looked at, looked like in the in the previous ver edition of this mod rather well. Because I used that. I've actually used that livery in my team for a while for the Haas. But we've still got Dodge Haas is still here. Uh, but the livery has changed a little bit. On this, you can see difference on the side pods there. Um, I think it looks really good. The stars and the stripes. Why have Haas had never done it? Never done even that small touch with the stars and the stripes. I'm actually a little bit surprised Haas have never done that. Just like that little touch on like even at the bottom of the, of the you know, the side of the car on the side. Just a little touch of some stars and stripes. They're an American team. Um, but I mean, I like it. I really like it. I don't know why the American flag, like the stars and stripes, it just works on an F1 car. You know, it just, it works on the Haas F1 car. It works here. It's as simple as, I like it. It's a, it looks really nice. And finally, on to Williams. Now, I remember last time, I wasn't the biggest fan of the Williams car. However, this time, I actually really like this. I like, because it's an old fact I'm not the biggest fan of this color pink, but I like that there's two different shades of pink there. I love the metallic blue. Uh, I'm pretty sure I said that about the other uh, Alpine IRL. It looks really nice IRL, and the Alpine it looks really nice here, kind of metallic chromey kind of way on the blue. More metallic, I would say, definitely. Yeah, that kind of metallic shade of blue, the um, pink matching up. It looks really nice. BWT still title sponsor. BWT, I think, on this day and age in Formula One are inevitable. They're gonna be there in some regard. And to be honest, I think this is a really, really good update from the Williams, from how the Williams was before on the on the game on this um, in this update in this mod rather. How the Williams was in the in the last time I looked at this mod a few months ago. Um, it, I love it. I really, I like it. I, I like this a lot. Uh, the blue just, the blue just makes it work. The metallic blue makes it work. Uh, but there we have all 10 liveries He all 10 team liveries. Mercedes, Red Bull, Unchanged Red Bull, apart from the, okay, Red Bull, Unchanged apart from the outline around the number, which is a nice touch. Uh, McLaren Quadrant has changed. Aston Martin has changed. Um, Toyota has changed, Ferrari's changed, Alpha Tauri changed, the Lotus stayed the same by the looks of it from what I can tell anyway. Um, Haas have changed, as have Williams. I love it. I love it. Now, as you, as I was just saying there, when I was looking at deliveries, I did notice there a 77 on the Aston Martin, and I also noticed a, um... I also noticed a freaking 23 on the Alpha Tauri, so I'm gonna jump into Grand Prix mode. I was gonna have a look at a track anyway, uh, so I'm gonna jump into Grand Prix mode here. I'm gonna go to Austria, um, and we're gonna get into a race uh, soon. We're gonna get into a race soon, because I wanna look at some more stuff first. There has been, I have been told, in this update, it is included, there's a massive reworking of the storyline from the year 2000. Um, which is a very, very cool thing to, um, to, to add into this. Honestly, I can't even imagine how much work this must have taken to do. But yeah, a whole massive reworked storyline, different champions and teams. Um, it's freaking insane that, 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 you've, that you've decided to, that you've, like, gone to add, like, that, gone to, like, that level of immersion with this. So let's have a look. I saw a number 77 on Aston Martin, so I kind of... And I've seen some stuff post, posted on, on Twitter. Um, but of course, it looks like a bit of a different helmet for Hamilton. There can see a green there with the purple. And I'm sorry, Pierre Gasly, Mercedes, I can get behind this. I am 100% for this. Again, I saw this tease on Twitter a couple, um, like, a couple days ago, last week. I can't remember exactly when... Like the Mercedes car and a couple of helmets. Like, wait, that's Gasly's helmet. Gasly Mercedes. 
I'm here for it. There's driver transfers involved in this. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Back to the video in just a minute. I'm going to make a prediction right here, right now. 2024, Pierre Gasly will replace Lewis Hamilton and Mercedes. This is either going to age brilliantly or terribly. Uh, but back to this, so a Mercedes, Mercedes monster now, we have got Lewis Hamilton and Pierre Gasly driving for Mercedes. Who have we got for Red Bull Nissan? We've still got Max Verstappen. I like the difference to the helmet. From what I can see there, I really, really like it. The black, black, white, and white base, of course, still a bit silver there touches as well. I like it. It looks really nice. And no, you did not go there. Sebastian Vettel has returned to Red Bull Racing. To be fair, this is a lineup that would be rather interesting. This is very loud in my ears. This lineup would be so interesting to see IRL. I love the look of the helmet. Um, again, this is another one that um, he teased a bit on, on Twitter. And I was trying, I could recognize one of the helmets with the Verstappen's. And I was like, is that... That is not Vettel's helmet, right? Because I can see the yellow and the white, the yellow and the red stripes, like, the off-center. Like, that is exactly Vettel's design. But I was a little bit reluctant to, 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 reluctant to think that it was definitely Vettel because I couldn't see the black stripe. Because it's a black base helmet. It looks amazing. So we've got, we've got Hamilton and Gasly at Mercedes now. Um, Vettel never left Red Bull by the looks of it. Um, so we've got Vettel and Verstappen at Red Bull. I would be very, this is a lineup that, it, it would be one of two things IRL. It would go brilliantly or terribly. It would be interesting to see, but I feel like IRL will probably end, to be honest, I feel like at times it would go about as well as Leclerc and, Leclerc and Vettel went. And I mean, they crashed into each other twice. But no, very, very exciting driver change here in the game. McLaren, of course, we've still got Ricardo and Norris. Is interesting. I like Norris's helmet. I like Norris's helmet a lot there. I really like that. Simple as McLaren staying the same. Of course, of course, they would still have Lando Norris. Um, it is the Quadrant McLaren F1 team, and the Quadrant is Lando's thing. Um, but that's the lineup for. Um, McLaren then, Aston Martin, I saw a 77, I fully expect to see Valtteri Bottas here. And I would be right. Um, seems like they have rockets here as well. Oh yeah, that was there. I did, my brain just clocked and clicked there. I've got Sergio Perez still here. Wait, where the hell did Lance Stroll go then? Where the hell is Lance Stroll? I suppose we'll find out. Uh, but we've got Bottas and Perez here. Okay then. You know what? Go forth. Ha Bottas not leaving either, you know, leaving Mercedes and heading to Aston Martin or, I don't know, you said reword storyline, leaving Mercedes, leaving Williams and then heading straight to Aston Martin, which I, I don't know, would it still, was it still racing one time? Probably, maybe, I don't know. Um, like I said, this mod will be releasing sometime soon. I'll let you know when it does. Um, but we've got Bottas and Perez, whole new lineup for Aston Martin here. Very exciting. Toyota, still got Alonso. And Oscar Piastri, yes, yes, I am 100% for this, it's his estimate of Ocon, but that is very clearly Oscar Piastri, 100% here, Ocon has disappeared so far, um, Oscar Piastri on the grid, I'm happy, he deserved, that man deserves to be on the grid next, this year, there, I mean, it, okay, to be honest, from me saying this, it doesn't take a genius to figure out who my first teammate will be on F1 2022 My Team Career Mode. I mean, I think we can all just realize it's probably going to be all. It's going to be Oscar Piastri. Uh, but we've got we, uh, Ty also, we've got Fernando Alonso sticking true to the team that. Well, sticking true to the team that in the game is still Alpine, but in the mod here, it's Toyota Alpine, of course, left. And of course, I forgot to mention that. Freaking Williams, of course, remember they're powered by Toyota. I. I completely forgot to mention that when I was looking at the liveries. Um, we've got Oscar Piastri, his teammate here. Very, very exciting. Ferrari. Still got Leclerc there. And Sainz. So this lineup is unchanged. And to be honest, I'm happy with that. I'm happy that this lineup is unchanged. Uh, because this lineup is... This is perhaps one of the best lineups on the grid. And um, I'm happy it's got... I'm happy it is unchanged. I'm happy about that. But... Alpha Tauri. I saw a 23 on that car and I see Alex Albon there. 
Hello, Alex Albon. Welcome back to the Formula One game. How nice it is, how how lovely it is to see you again. Um, but we've still got Sonoda alongside him. I actually quite like those helmets. Sonoda's looks really nice. The pink and the purple, I call it pink, really works there. And the same with Albon's. I like it. So yet another half change to line up. We've got Albon replaces Gasly. Burn me, kind of as he did in 2019. Uh, when, when Albon first came into Formula 1, Gasly went up to Red Bull, um, IRL of course. Um, but Alfa Romeo, Kimi Raikkonen state, uh, I mean Lotus, Kimi Raikkonen is it. To be honest, I actually quite often forget that Kimi's in the game. Because most of the time I'm doing my team and, he, and in my team he retired after season 1. I also quite often forget Ricardo's in the game because he retired as well. Bottas as well, and he retired again. And we've got Mick Schumacher in Lotus. Hello then, okay. Very interesting, nice driver. This is a good, this is a nice driver pairing. Here we've got Raikkonen and Schumacher. Raikkonen who has driven against freaking three different Schumachers in his Formula One career. Um, Ralph, Michael, and now Mick, and now he's Mick's teammate. You know what? I can I can 100% get behind this driver pairing. Mick can learn a lot from from Kimmy, you know. Um, but moving on, Haas. Hello, Roman Grosjean. I did not expect to be seeing you today. <laughs> okay, of all the driver transfers I could have expected, this is not one of them. Um, the the the, the Phoenix is back. He never left. He's still here with Haas. You know what, I'm 100% here, and hello Danny Kvyat. Again, did not see that coming. That is what, this is two driver transfers I did not see coming. I have been recording for half an hour. I've done, I haven't even gotten to driving anything yet, I've been recording for half an hour, my god. Um, but there's a lot to go through here. Um, but anyway, so we've got Roman Grosjean, never left Haas, and Kevin Magnussen was replaced by um, Danny Kvyat. If we're looking at this from a going from the year 2020 to 2021 perspective, you know. Uh, so, new, kind of, I suppose, in relation to looking at it from the game, but the normal game perspective, then it is a whole new lineup for, um, Alpha, for the uh, Haas here. Got Grosjean back, and got Danny Kvyat. And finally, that just leaves Williams. Can I just say, in this lighting here, that blue looks even better. Um, still got George Russell, whole pink-based helmet. And we've got Esteban Ocon is his teammate there. So, um, Stro Lance Stroll has been fired. Nick Latifi's been fired. Giovinazzi's pissed off to Formula E. No offense to Gio, of course. I hope, I hope he does well in Formula E. Who else has disappeared? I think that's all the drivers of... Oh, yeah, Mazbin's disappeared. But, I mean, that's just Mazbin. Um, but, yeah. So, that's the lineup then. Archon's now at Williams. So, quick rundown in line. We've got Lewis Hamilton pairing up with Pierre Gasly at the monster Mercedes Formula One team. At Red Bull, they've still got their gold. They've got they've got their two golden boys. They've got Max Verstappen and uh, Sebastian Vettel. Uh, McLaren remains unchanged from their lineup today in real life. We've still got Daniel Ricciardo and the founder of Quadrant, which is now the title sponsor of Qu the McLaren F1 team, Lando Norris. I still really like that helmet. Aston Martin, they've snapped up Valtteri Bottas. And they've got Sergio Perez still with them. He never left them, it seems. Sergio Perez never left the team that was once Racing Point. Um, Alpine, they've still got Fernando Alonso. And then pairing him, pairing up with him is, is um, Oscar Piastri. I nearly said Esteban Ocon. And Toyota, not Alpine. It's Toyota, not Alpine. At Toyota, there's Fernando Alonso and then um, Oscar Piastri. Ferrari remains unchanged to what it is today. Still got um, Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz. Alpha Tauri, they've got Alex Alvin back. He was dropped by Red Bull, went back to Alpha Tauri. Or, um, I, don't, I don't know what the story is here for these driver transfers. Um, that'll be something. It'll be interesting to see if when the mod is fully released, if there is a storyline for that on the um, race department download. And of course, on the race department page, rather. Um, like I said, I will let you know when this mod is fully released. We've got Yuki Tsunoda. Yuki Tsunoda pairs up with him as well. Um, meanwhile, down at Lotus, still got Kimi Raikkonen, the driver who was with them and 
as I remember hearing nearly bankrupt them back in 2012 and 2013. Well, that's a fact I think we all know. Um, and got Mick Schumacher alongside him. Schumacher could learn a lot from Raikkonen. She could learn a lot from Raikkonen. This would have been a nice lineup to see IRL, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but that uh, has Roman Grosjean. Never left, apparently. He's still right here. And pairing up with him is Danny Kvyat, formerly of Toro, of Toro Rosso, of Alfatari, now of Haas. And finally, closing off the grid, we have got George Russell and Esteban Ocon driving for the Williams Formula One team. This is very exciting. This is very exciting so far. Um, so I'm gonna hop in to... I remember I dropped the Toyota last time. And I did that Japan break. Like I said, we're doing this at, um... We're doing this uh, at uh, Austria. Um, okay, I might go to a couple different circuits. I'm gonna start off with Austria. And I'm gonna, first of all, make sure it's not raining. Because that would be a shame. Austria, race. I have, to be honest, I, would, I have absolutely no excuse for not doing good in the bit of race I do here. Because yesterday I did like 80 laps of this track for my team. Um, that's coming tomorrow. Why has this gone one side? That went one side. The audio just fucked up for a little bit there for a minute. Oh my, my god, oh headphone. Don't you die on me now. I saw a slight tangent. I have an icy Red Bull signs there. Oh my god, headphones. I see Red Bull sponsoring there. Honest question, why have Red Bull never sponsored the Austrian Grand Prix? It's called the Red Bull Ring. Come on, the, the Red Bull, the Red Bull Austrian Grand Prix at the Red Bull Ring. Come on. Why, why have Red Bull never done that? My headphones might be breaking. That would be just my luck. That would be the next thing to break. Small tangent, but I have had no luck with tech this year. If you follow me on Twitter, then you'll know this. Because I've been complaining about it all over there. Um, I'll, by the way, speaking of Twitter, I'll throw a link to um, Scotty's Twitter as well down below. Um, as well as my link to Twitter. My, the link to my Twitter, which is always there. Which if you don't, you know, go follow him. And if you don't follow me, then do. Um... And if you want to keep up with all my tech woes I've had this year, one of my monitors died on me. Uh, my computer tried to die on me twice, which led to my wheel acting broken. Uh, my phone char my phone charging port has broken. I'm just waiting for my new phone to come. Um, my Oh god, my headphones are breaking. No! My headphones are breaking and I don't think I should change them just yet. Here we go. Okay, we're golden! My headphones are working. Okay, I want to do it. Come on, can I get past turn one here? Oh my god. That went about as well as anyone was expecting. Upwards, Red Bull. Spon Red Bull sponsorship at the Red Bull ring. There's a big Red Bull side logo there. there. That used to be a Ramco. Seems like now it's, um, yeah, fuck off, Jeff. Fuck off, Jeff. This is real. I like the, I like the touch of the Red Bull sponsoring on this track. I do really like that. Because, like I said, why the hell have Red Bull never actually sponsored the Austrian Grand Prix? Genuine question. Why have they never done it? Uh, just having a quick hop out into the re into the photo mode here. That used to be in a Ramco barrier. It's now a Red Bull barrier. It looks nice touch, honestly, on changing the sponsorship. I'm gonna have to have a look at some other tracks, see if there's any sponsorship changes there. Um, and then up here, there's a where the on the freaking runoff up here at turn three. Big Red Bull logo all the way up here, all the way along the barrier as well. That. I think before though there's a green barrier. I'm pretty certain of that. Um, but up here, massive Red Bull logo up here. Massive Red Bull logo. Look, dude, like, oh, yeah, cause like I asked, why the hell have Red Bull never sponsored the Austrian Grand Prix? Mercedes sponsored the freaking German Grand Prix a couple of years ago. Why have we never had the Red Bull Austrian Grand Prix? Or was there something along, such thing along them lines? 
Why, Red Bull? Come on. Red Bull, give the wings. It gives you wings and also takes them away. Uh, the front wings, that is. Um, but anyway. But yeah, no, very nice touch on the Red Bull sponsor. They're kind of, um... Red Bull sponsoring the, um, Austrian Grand Prix almost now in the game, which is a very nice touch there. Um, got Verstappen leading. Gasly's in second, Vettel's in third, and Hamilton's in fourth. I want to see if I can get a better look at these helmets. I can try. Very, they're very nice. Very nice. I like it. Uh, Gasly, I want to look at his... Um, no, camera. Oh my god. The camera is having serious issues. Very nice. Still Gasly, you know, typical kind of style. Just, you know, the different colours now to kind of more match, you know, the team he's now in, which is Monster Mercedes. Very nice. Um, okay. As I was, um, I was just gonna do one more restart here. Tr trust me, we're doing five million restarts. You know what, I'm gonna do a restart at a different track. I'm gonna go to Bahrain and fuck it, let's drive as, let's drive as Vettel in the Red Bull. Um, again, I know it's Bahrain, but I just wanna make sure that it's not gonna rain. I've had rain in the desert on this game before, I'd rather not have it again. Um, because I did see, this is another thing, I saw the Red Bulls Austrian, um, Austria track thing um for on on uh, on twitter that um he posted and i want to i saw another thing about bahrain i believe it was with the bwt sponsorship that i want to take a look at um because changing the sponsorship of tracks very nice touch and you can see there bwt is sponsoring is a sponsor here of um Austria of the Austrian Grand Prix and we're on the That's a purple safety car. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. That is a purple safety car. I'm not the only one seeing that, right? That safety car is fucking purple. I'm gonna have to take a look at that. That is a purple safety car. I'm gonna have to try and do I'm gonna have to turn on the safety car and then try and dr drag it out. I'll probably go to Monaco for that. Um I should have put a setup on. Oh, uh, I should have put a setup on. I love the helmet. Love the helmet here. And. Good start. Bad start. Here comes Gasly. Into turn one. Going deep. Ricardo's come out of nowhere. We've had a good getaway. Oh my god. I want to take a look back at that. Into turn one. Looks amazing. Looks amazing. I locked up. Seriously, look at all these liveries. Honestly, something like this, it must have taken so much work to do all this. Can I just come back to that William? The blue! Hang on a minute. Hang on just a minute here. What? Pause it right there for just a second. That blue in this lighting of this track does look incredible. Holy shit. Um, small tangent there, but moving on. Um, it's a bit of dust there, it looks like, from someone. Uh, but look at these cars. They look amazing. They do look amazing. As you can hear, it's all the Honda power unit, it sounds like. But of course, it is Nissan. I feel like I'm in my team these days. I've got BWT sponsorship that you can see all over the place. Which is uh, why I'm here in Bahrain. Just kind of see sponsorship changes around the track. Uh, but yeah, back to the end. It's still, you can see it here. It still sounds like the, the Honda PU in game. Um, but it is, you know, for the, you know, it is now, you know, powered by, it's now a Nissan power unit. Kind of like on my team, Red, the Red Bull cars are now Porsche. As that's a storyline I have going in my my team. Small tangent, but you know, I like it. I like the fact that like the driver, tr honestly, above and beyond, above and beyond is what I want to say here, because my God, sponsorship, cha the sponsorship changes around the tracks. So many livery changes, driver transfers. I saw a purple fucking safety car. 
Um, that I want to go see if I can dr I- That I'm not- That was a safety car. It was a safety car or the medical car. One of the two, whichever fucking one of them it was, it was purple. I know that for a fact. I wonder if it'll be that like that if I, if I head over to Monaco. If not, I'll head back to Bahrain. Uh, but I'm gonna head over to- I'm gonna head to Monaco. Um, and I'm gonna drive- you know what the fuck? I want to drive with George Russell because I do- I- That Williams is really growing on me. Um, I need to put it to a 25% raise so I can drag out the safety car. Um, I want to make sure the damage is on simulation so I can drag it out easily. Safety car increased. Ah, uh, you know what? If it rains or it doesn't rain, I don't care. If it rains, it'll be easier to drag out the safety car. Barter than me, just freaking park it at turn one. That's my plan. Park it at the first corner. That's my entire plan. Just park it at turn one. That'll be an easy way to. I should have turned rules off for that. I should have turned rules off. Oh, that was lagging. That was lagging. You can feel the tension in the air as we move into. Anyway, Let's that was that intro was lagging. My God. Um. I will push no fuck um and strategy oh why is this lagging why is this lagging you know I think I know what I need to do I think I'll just like start the race pause it and then take a look in the pit lane as well as I can take a look in the pit lane providing I can if not I'll just drive slow and drive park it at the final fucking corner or just drive slowly, wait for everyone to come back around, park it, cause a pilot, bring out the safety car. Simple as- is it raining? No, it's not. It's just cloudy. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't okay, go. we're good. We're good. We're starting laughs as well. Very nice. Oh, there are three wide! There were three wide. I wanted to see if I can take a look in the pit lane. I see a purple safety car! I see a purple safety car! Hang on, no, I need to- I need to- I see a purple Aston Martin safety car. I need to try drag that out. I need to try drag this thing out. Okay, I know what I'm doing now. I've turned rules pretty much off. Wait for everyone to go by. I need to turn this thing around and get rear wing damage. Do a five million point turn. Wait, I think I'm at the last corner with my best bet. Can I just leave it parked here without consequence? I think I might be able to. Because the rules are off. It's just um, corner cutting, of course, it's on. Let's just leave it parked here. Blocking the entire road. The safety car is turned on. Safety car! Virtual safety car. No, real safety car. Real safety car. Real safety car. Bingo. It's out. Nicholas is in the pits. Nicholas in the pits. It's all gone, actually. That's a purple safety car. I found the purple safety car. I finally got it dragged out. Okay, so we've got purple safety car as well, which is very- I've been recording for over an hour. I've been recording this for well over an hour. If I'm just past the safety car. There it is, I completely passed it. So the safety car- the Aston Martin safety car is now purple. Nice! I like it. I like the touch. I mean, I wonder if the, Merce the Mercedes safety car changed? Or, I don't know. All I know is that's a purple safety car. That's what I wanted to find. Thank you, game. Uh, let me head to a track that's a Mercedes safety car real quick. Just see what I can see. What I can see. What track is a Mercedes one? Monza has a Mercedes. Uh, what track has a Mercedes safety car? Wait, Austria has a Mercedes safety car. I was just there in the last episode of my team. I'm, let me head back to Austria. I'm gonna head back to Austria. 
Uh, let's drive in the... Ah, fuck it. It's the Australian GP this week. Let's drive with Ricardo. Um, no, wrong button. Just in case, let's head back to Austria for a little look there. Oh, no, it wasn't just Green Nuts. Green not sponsored there. It was a Ramco instead. I thought it was just all like a green barrier before, but no, it, is, it did say a Ramco, but now it says Red Bull. Nice. Um, anyway, has the Mercedes changed or not? I don't know. We'll find out. Um, I cannot see it from here. I wonder, can I do a cheeky thing? Um, going through the camera. Can I do a cheeky thing here? Yeah, I can. But I cannot see it for that guy standing there. Oh, I'll have to get into the race. I'm gonna have to get into the race and look. And we are driving. A typically bad start for me, Jesus Oscar. Okay, I just need to look into the pit lane here. Where does this H-car park here? Is it which end of the pit lane does it park at? There it is. It looks the same. I'm mistaken, it's orange. We've got an orange Mercedes safety car. Whether that's just for this track or not, beats me. It would make sense if it was. Um, because you know the, the Dutch fans seem to congregate here, but we've got a purple safety car now and we've got an orange safety car. Nice! Um, you know what? Why not? All for it. Um, but my god, what a, what a mod. What an update to the mod. Insane. Absolutely insane. They're almost going three wide up here. They were almost going three wide up here. That's a Verstappen and Hamilton. We've got Vettel and Gasly challenging each other for the lead. Uh, of course, if it's Gasly challenging for the latest site, I've gotten, I've grown quite accustomed to in my team career mode. I've, I've grown quite accustomed to that site in my team. Uh, my god, Lando back here has had a dreadful qualify. Oh no, that's me. That's me. That's me as Ricardo. Okay, I felt that was Lando. Um, but my god, what an update to the mod. Jesus Christ, how m I can't even imagine how much work has gone into this. Insane. Absolutely insane. I love this mod to begin with, and it's still ju it's even better now. There's like, the bigger storyline, the different driver transfers, um, I'll be interested to see when the mod releases if there is a whole storyline behind the driver, behind the, like, the driver moves and all that. Um, the different champions and different teams, I'll be really interested to see more about that when this mod comes out. Um, as I said, I will let you know when it does release. Um, I'm not entirely sure when it's gonna release, but I will let you know as to when it does release. Um, because this is absolutely insane. Uh, as I said, thank you to, thank you to Scotty for giving me early access to this update. For giving me an early access version of this update, because this is absolutely insane. I've been looking forward to this, and let me tell you, this has not disappointed. Honestly, mate, you've outdone yourself this time. You have absolutely outdone yourself. Uh, that's like, what, seven liveries have changed? A bunch of, like, seven-ish liveries? Yeah, the Aston Martin stayed the same, the Mercedes stayed the same, the Lotus stayed the same. Okay, six and a bit liveries changed. The, the, the Red Bull did change a little bit with the number, I think. I think, don't quote. I'm pretty sure it has changed. The white outline around the number was not there before to my memory. Um, so yeah, like six and a bit, seven liveries have changed. Um, a bunch of d different like drivers and different teams. Some drivers that weren't even in the bloody game. You got like Ro Grosjean and... Um, Grosjean and Fiat and Albin, they weren't even in the bloody game to begin with. Um... And then we've got different the different safety cars, different um, there's some different sponsorships on different tracks. Um, honestly, I will be very excited to see, um, like the kind of, you know, any like you know the like you know any like storyline that there is to read about when this mod fully comes out. This is this is not disappointed. 
Um, this has been insane. But I've been recording for an hour and 12 minutes. I'm gonna go leave this here. I just got so... I didn't expect to be recording for this long, but I just got so into this. And there was so much to look at that I just completely lost track of time. Um, but I mean, worth it though. Worth it. Absolutely worth it. This has been, this is absolutely brilliant. I'm looking forward to this mod fully releasing. And like I said, lads, I will let you know when it does fully release. And yeah, so with that, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna end this here. Um, I'm gonna end this here. So, yeah. This has been the Formula Fantasy update. Um, absolutely insane. Mate, you've outdone yourself this time. This is brilliant. But I'm gonna go. So for now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I certainly did. Um, as I've said, as I've said I'll let you know when this mod fully releases. But for now, like, share, comment, subscribe. Go follow Scotty on Twitter as well. I will link it down. I will link his Twitter down below. Um, yeah. So... Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.